Okay, working on a Toyota 7 FG U25, serial number 71759, and the complaint is the no start. So let's try cranking it. Not then. So at this point, I wouldn't suspect any uh, compression problem because of the way that the engine is cranking. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to check or determine what we are missing a cedar spark fuel and easiest way for me right now is to test out the spark so I'm just gonna hook up a uh, spark tester on this plug right here and see if we have any spark okay so I already hooked up my spark tester to one of the plug wires and I'm gonna try to crank it and see if we have spark oops that didn't go too nice Clap it on better, better. Let's see, if we have a uh, spark. But I already know. We have it. So that is enough for me. I am not gonna check each and every one of those plugs because if I have spark on at least one cylinder, or going to one of at least one of the spark plugs, this engine would at least try to start. And right now it's just cranking and it wouldn't start. So next thing to do is to test for fuel. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to take out filter and then spray brake clean inside. I know I could use something better, but this time I don't have anything else to use. I know that brake clean is uh, combustible right here right there no brake clean is combustible I'm not gonna run this for a very long time I just want to know if we're lacking or missing fuel so what I'm gonna do is gonna crank it and spray some brake clean inside here and there you go so we are missing fuel we know that because it started so now we're gonna go after fuel supply Okay now, so now we're gonna check if we have good fuel supply. So this is the line that's coming from the tank. First make sure, of course, that the uh, valve on the tank is open. Once you make sure that it's the, uh, the tank is open, I'm just gonna crack the line and see if it's pressure's going into this regulator. And there you go. I know there's fuel supply going into my regulator. Now the problem is there fuel being supplied to the mixer from that regulator. Now the way this works is fuel flows from the tank going here, right? And the main solenoid is supposed to power up, open the passage that will go through the slope path at starting, which is this guy right here. So once fuel goes here, opens up solenoid, opens up, up opens up a path to this slow solenoid which is going to be operated by vacuum it would send the gas to flow into the secondary side and by the action of the vacuum created by the engine it would suck in the fuel going to the mixer so the first or the next thing I'm going to do right now after I know that I have fuel going into the regulator is check if the solenoid is functioning properly or at least if it has a signal for now so only has two lines going into it and from working on Toyota's I know that it is it would always have a uh, ground supply so one of these wires is always going to be connected to negative and power is going to come from a relay or okay so let's check that by using a um, test light so first thing to do is I'm gonna my lead because I'm looking for a negative I want to I want to know which one is my negative supply so I have my test light connected to bar battery positive my test light is light okay so if I If I put my test light into one of those wires, 
of course I have to like use a probe or a uh, in this case I'm gonna use a T-pin I want to see my test light light up and that way I would know that I have good ground so let me just attach a uh, T-pin in one of those terminals and I'll show you what I mean Okay, so now I have my tape inserted to one of those uh, terminals. So I'm uh, gonna touch my test light on the T pin. See, so it's lit. Okay, now I'm gonna have to transfer the T pin. Sorry about that, to the other side. Touch it there, and it's lit. So what that's telling me is that my solenoid, at least I know that my solenoid is not open, right? So for me to determine which is which, I would have to unplug that connector right, and see which one is still uh, letting up my test light. Okay, so now I've disconnected my connector to my solenoid right here. Still have my T-pin connected to the white with the uh, black tracer, touch it and see my test light's being lit. So I know right now because I'm connected to battery positive with my test light, it's completing the circuit. So I know for a fact right now that my white with the black tracer is my negative supply. So the power is going to come from the other side. So what I'm going to do right now is put it back in, insert my T-pin uh, on the black wire and see if we have power and I'm gonna have to transfer my test light now from the positive to the negative make sure I have good connection it's lit I have to insert that connector back to my main solenoid okay transfer my T-pin right here Make sure that I'm going straight. Okay. You know what? I want to make sure that I have good connection on that T-pin. Back. And it's lit. So, okay. That's saying I have good connection. Transfer my lead again to the negative. And I'm going to focus you on... hard working by yourself on the road. Let's see if I can get a good shot of it. Touch my test light. Just gonna okay. okay. And then put it on ignition. Try to crank it. Okay. So you see, although it's a weird angle that my test light was lit when I'm cranking over with my test light connected to negative I know there is power going into that solenoid right but there is still although I have good connection I know there's no open in my solenoid my signals coming in and just to mention this is a dually meaning that it could run on LPG and it could run on gas right I'll take your picture of this switch right there so I'm switched to LPG but at this point even though I, I didn't check it I know my power there's power going to that solenoid and if it I was switched on gas I wouldn't have any power going into that solenoid which would point me in that direction maybe the relay or the ECU is not commanding the solenoid to turn on but at this point I know the solenoid is being commanded to turn on but somehow it's not putting out the gas. I'm gonna try to do right now because sometimes this solenoid sticks, it's closed, it wouldn't open. I'm gonna try to tap it and see where it points us to. So now I have this kind of wrench just to tap on the solenoid. Maybe it will unstick it, maybe it wouldn't. In any case, I know for sure that I'm 
quite certain that I had to replace this uh, regulator. So let's see, let's try to crank it again. See if it starts up. Nothing. I even hear a click coming from that solenoid. Alright. So there is one more test, although I'm pretty sure that it is the solenoid that's not working. Is you hook up a vacuum tester into this line right here, going to the slow solenoid, apply a vacuum to this and crank it. It's like I said, when cranking, it needs a vacuum going here. I'm not gonna show it already because I don't have my vacuum tester with me. I had it earlier. I forgot about it at the shop. And I already tested the hose for leaks. There's no leaks. And it's getting good vacuum into this. Okay, so this is the uh, solenoid on the regulator that I took off the truck. So what we're going to try to do is see what was happening with this um, solenoid. When it was still in the truck, I was thinking that this plunger was getting stuck mechanically. But it seems to me that it's not the case. So I know from the testing that I did while it was on the truck, I know that my coil is not open. So what I'm going to try to do now that I'm in the shop is I'm going to try to hook it up to a good working truck or okay so I connected the uh, solenoid to a good work known working truck so what I'm expecting to see once I uh, try to crank it is the plunger to go down see the gas from um, the filter side is right here so it's being blocked up by this when the solenoid pulls the plunger in, it's supposed to provide an opening through that hole to let the gas in into the uh, primary side. So let me try cranking and see if it moves. Nothing. That clicking sound that you hear is actually from uh, my starter. So, uh, let's see a bit closer, see if it is trying to move. Not even. Give it another angle. Hold this in place. Give it a little push. See if it pulls it in. Nothing. Nothing. So that's it. My theory on this is that although my uh, coil is not open without knowing the actual specs I couldn't do uh, an ohm reading on this I am suspecting that the coil is weakened up that is not able to pull the plunger to open up the passage for the regulator or for the gas from the tank to flow into into the uh, primary. So just a confirmation that it is or this solenoid is a problem for the truck. Okay, right now we installed the new regulator. Everything's hooked up. Fire it up. See if it works. Call this 